from Noah. Um, Noah says, hey Lars, I really appreciate your videos. I really appreciate you watching them, Noah. Um, so one of the questions he has is he's also trying to do a sci-fi looking coin bank. Isn't this interesting? In this live stream today, we did a coin bank where the, with the cam where the coin was going to roll down. Beginning first one, we talked about Ash question about sci-fi and now it all coming together. Whew. Um, but he sent a picture. Okay. Hour and a half. I got to wrap this up. Just trying to answer as many of your questions as possible here. Here we go. Here is our sci-fi coin bank. So the question is, I am trying to design this coin bank. I'm looking to add some slots um, through the blue so you kind of can look inside the coin bank. But how do I add these slots in here um, to uh, to kind of the holes for some, you want to put some screws in here. I love where you're going with this. Uh, how do I do this inside of Fusion 360? So I think this is a, a, a perfect good example for us to wrap up um, this one with. Let's go in here. I'm just going to start a sketch on the top here. I'm going to make a slot. I'm going to make this 50. I'm going to extrude this up as a solid. And uh, this here could be our, our coin bank. And I'm thinking that maybe, maybe we want to do this out of uh, hit A. Maybe we want to do this as a glass. So we have some kind of a blue plexiglass thing. And then we want to add this sci-fi um, on the outside. So let's do that. So let's go in here, open a sketch down here. And uh, I am going to hit P for project. Borrow this here. I'm actually going to do an offset. Let's offset that out. Let's make it two millimeters maybe. Just so it has a little bit of things to it here. Um, let's draw a line out like this. And make sure this point is closer to that. B for dimension. Let's make it 40 degrees. Do I like that? Let's see what I think I see. Probably had a smaller. Let's make it 20. Like that there. Do we like that? I think we like that. Um, and let's, uh, while we're in sketches, don't forget that you could actually mirror uh, a sketch line over another sketch line. That would probably just mean that I have to create one more line. Be a construction line. So let's mirror this line over this line there. Finish that sketch. Let's hit Q. Do it. Yep. Do Q. So like that. That's gonna be kind of like our armor going up there. Um, I'm actually gonna be a little fancy if you don't mind. You mind Noah? I'm gonna go ahead and say not from the profile, but offset the plane of this one up. Uh, I'm gonna go up ten millimeters. And then the distance is not going to be a distance. It's going to be from two object. It's going to be the top there to that top object. But I'm going to offset it also by 10. Minus 10. There we go. I'm not going to join it. I'm going to leave it as a, uh, a new body. And hit OK. I hope by going through this somehow, Somebody right now is like, whoa, that's what I needed to learn. I'm going to go in. I'm going to mirror this also. I'm going to select it as a feature because I like features. Just like that feature over that center plane there. And now I have it on both sides. I'm going to hit A and I'm going to change. I'm not, I don't want this to be glass. I don't want it to be leather. I want this to be... Now I'm just playing. Paint. I'm going to paint this blue yeah 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 like that but that's not the blue i want i'm gonna edit that i'm gonna say i want it more like that 
How do you think that? Okay, so now the question from Noah is, I want to put some screws in this, right? And I want to put some slots into this. How do I do all this so I can kind of like look through and look at that? So the first thing is that if we got to put some screws in here, where do we kind of want those screws to go through here? Um, so what we could do is, I don't really know where that angle is right now. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. If you go into this construct drop down, one of them would say, I want to create a plane on an angle, or you could say a tangent plane. So I'll show both of them. So one way could be say, I want to create a plane in an angle, select that. And the line you want to do it about is this center line down here. And you will now see that I get a plane on an angle. So 90 degrees, if we're looking down from the top, is right there. So now we could kind of start moving this and kind of figure out where we think that that plane would be. So I'm going to go here and say 120 degrees. I kind of use that as my, my reference. Maybe I'm going to make it minus 115 degrees. I think it's good. Now I have this plane in here. If I sketch on that plane, we're going to sketch and I have to select that plane. Now I could create a couple of holes. See for circle. I'm going to draw a circle there. I'm going to draw a circle. Oh, there's an origin right there. Right? So that's kind of convenient somehow. Um, and it's a little hard to see. Bear with me. D for dimension. I'm going to make them three millimeters. And I'm going to make these two holes um, equal. So I'm going to select this hole to that hole. And I also want to make sure that D for dimension, that there's a distance between these two. Let's make it 55, maybe. It might, may or may not be good, but I'm going to leave that there. And I'm also going to make sure that these are black. So what I've done is I've just sketched two holes in here. Now, here's a cool thing. When I go in and say Q for press pull, if you can't select anything, hold down your left mouse button. And I can now select that profile. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to hold down and select that profile. You can now see how it's going to cut through there. But here's a little trick. Right now, it's cutting through everything. It's cutting through the glass and it's cutting through the shield. Know that over here, if we click on that, we can choose what body we want to cut through. So if I uncheck the glass, now it's only going to cut through that body right there. Boom. See that? Now I could also, again, going and edit that, edit feature. I could say that I want to cut, I'm going to cut in one direction. Maybe I say I'm going to cut symmetrical. And that means that now you would like to see that I get two bodies because there's the other body over here. I hit OK to that. And now it cut through those two bodies. Then I could decide to just do, what could I decide to do? I could do a circular pattern of features, our two cuts through this axis. Right there, right? And now you could start to do some kind of a rotation. I only want two of those. And I don't want them full. I want them in an angle. It's going to appear somewhere. I want one there. It should show up, shouldn't it? Nice. Oh, that didn't do it. Well, let me just select faces. So I select these faces and I select these faces. 
I want to do it A Z. And I'm missing something. There we go. Now I got through all of them. Um, I might have to play a little bit more with that one, but it's getting late. Um, so that's one way we could do something like this. I hope this was useful. At any time now, we could go in and say, you know what, I think that three millimeters was a little stupid, actually. I think I want them to be two, and then everything would update to that. The other way to do this, Noah, would be, so I just did the plane at an angle, right? You could also do a plane that is tangent to a face. So if I did that and I select this outside face here, select that one, tangent and a point so if we go ahead and select this face and we select this point here then you will see that we could also get that so what you would do here was you could Go ahead and um, this maybe takes a little bit. That's a little bit, maybe a pain in the neck. The way I want to do this, alpha line and create a line out here, and I'm gonna make that there. So I have that sketch. Select that plane for a point. This face. So there. And now I have a plane that is tangent to that face with there. And I could do kind of like the same thing. I could now start sketching on that plane. Um, and I could, you know, now I could do a slot, something like that. Q, press pull. And again, we could cut, we could decide what we want to cut into. We would kind of have the same, same kind of thing, uh, same kind of thing here. So, I hope that was useful, Norm. I hope that was useful. Um, I hope that was useful to you guys.